Hey guys, welcome to the part 1 episode of After Effects Basic. In this episode, we'll go over composition setup, importing and exporting, the settings and layout, as well as panels and tabs. First up, when you open After Effects, you'll get this. Create a new project. In here, this thing, this composition icon, to create a composition, click on that, and then you'll open up the composition settings. In the basics, you can change the presets. There are about 30 to 29 presets, I think. And there are a lot. They're all standard presets. You can also create your custom presets if you want. You can like 1920 by 1080p. It's pretty much standard. See? It auto finds it too. 16 by 9 ratio. You can change the duration, the time of all this. So that'll be 14 minutes and 32 seconds and 0 0.2 seconds. Mic microseconds, I guess. So let me make that a minute. Okay, and then you can change the background color. You can also preview on the click on the preview and it'll show up here, but that's after you have created. You don't really mess with the advanced setting unless you're doing something with 3D, which you're probably not because it's the basics video. So just click OK and you have just created your composition. Now to import videos, you just double click on this area and it will come like this. And you could just import more videos. So go on to videos and there are many videos. Well, I have like an import. Uh, let me just see green screen clips. I guess here's a castle door open. You can import videos. You just click and die and put it on the composition. Well, I'll change that. You just click on the video and drag it down to the composition to import it onto the composition. It'll appear here, and as you play along, it will show the video down there. <clears throat> to export the videos like this. Oh, let me just remove the green so it's different. To export the video, by the way, this is how you trim. Just like this, you just drag it to this side. And that works. To export the video you have made, let me just let's shorten that all the way here and maybe just click there and trim comp to work area short that down here trim comp to work area there we go and to so you have this video to export this video out what you have to do is first you have this competition just selected you can click on files and then export and then to add to render query this is usually what you would export in to to change the file location where you would save, you click on the output 2 and you click on the comp, comp one .av. that's your default unless you change the name of the composition which you would get when you create the composition. You just click on the blue object and then you just pick a file where you want to save it and just click save. Let me just do it. You just click on save, it just saves it there. You click on render and it will render out the video. <clears throat> After it's rendered out, it will play a sound and you can view the render. The next thing I want to go over is the settings and layout. So this is your standard layout. This is your standard. See, it says right here. Uh, to change that, there are many options available. For There's some for advanced editing. There's some for different occasions. To change that, you just click on Windows, Workspace, and there's all here. So for animations, it has all the tracking and other cool stuff. So this changed. You can tell this changed. And this also changed. <clears throat> That's the Animations tab. Workspace really is what it also. And this is where you view all the files. So there's the Line Tool, the Brush, the Character, the Effect and Presets, Info, Library, Mask, and Import interpolation <laughs> and everything else really and here you can change this I usually go with standard because it's easy to edit and everything is there everything you would ever need to edit is just right there <clears throat> that's basically the settings and layout of your things and the settings you just go here and the project settings right there there's all the time code frames, the color settings, whatever, what have you. <clears throat> and there's the preferences in the edit tab, which lets you which lets you mess with the After Effects 
software preferences, like the synchronization preferences. If you have two computers running the same software, you would actually synchronize everything you have done in one project and synchronize it to here. There's also the auto save where you want to auto save your project, which is really, really helpful. And all this other stuff you can mess with. You might not want to use that right away because you don't really need to. The next thing is panels and tabs. So tabs are this thing. So one here and here. Those are tabs. And panels is basically each one of this, but usually panels are floating windows. If you click here and click on undock panel, undock panel, yeah, the panel, it just floats around. And you can just click and drag it wherever you want to fit it in there, just like this. And you'll all be in there, which I shouldn't have done here. Let me just put that up all that so this is all for this part of the video hope you guys liked it to show, show us you're watching please like comment and subscribe to our channel and there will be more videos coming out starting with basics part two next week